Happy Friday, Saners. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Bit of news, which you would have seen already dropped by the St Kilda Socials. Liam Stocker is officially a St Kilda player. Former Blue, former pick 19 in the 2018 draft. He is a Saner. He's been training with the club since around December um, after being delisted by Carlton, uh, which was, to be fair, a bit of a shock to a lot of Blues that I've spoken to. And I've spoken to Terry from Blue Abroad briefly, and he has given his thoughts on Liam Stocker, gives us a bit of background into the type of player that we've now got on our list, which is exciting. He's still young. He's around 22, 23 years old, and he's a Saner growing up. He's, uh, you know, a childhood saner. We've now added to the many that we've already got at the footy club in Max King, Jack Higgins, I think Zachy Jones as well. Not Jack Sinclair, as uh, a lot of people mistakenly believe. But Liam Stocker, the childhood saint, is now officially a St. Kilda player, which is, uh, which is exciting. He's only played the 28 games since he's been drafted. But um, based on the fact that a lot of Carlton supporters were pretty disappointed that he was delisted and the way they're going, um, it shows that there is still a fair bit of room for improvement for um, Liam Stocker, which is exciting. So let's get straight into what Terry thinks. This is, um, you know, straight from an actual Carlton supporter. Um, and he says, you know, he was devastated to see him leave. He says, highly intelligent human, great with the fans, tough as nails, and a great teammate on the field. Get him in the midfield working with Lenny and watch him flourish. And then I asked, you know, what are his strongest traits and maybe his biggest weakness, which I think is important. He said his strongest trait would be his physicality. And they say that his weakness is endurance, but I'm not sure on that. Wasn't really given a proper shot in the midfield. So that's what Terry from Blue Abroad thinks. And based on doing a bit of research, I watch a couple of videos of his highlights over the last couple of years. <clears throat> and that's pretty spot on. Like, Liam Stocker looks like, to me, the perfect player for Ross Lyon to mold into whatever type of midfielder that he wants. He's young. He's pretty good with the, the ball in hand. Like a lot of his highlights, obviously highlights cut out all the turnovers, but from from watching him um, in the last couple of videos, his ball skills are good. He's not incredibly fast, but he makes decisions pretty quick. He, I think his most disposals he's ever gotten is around 20 or something like that. So he hasn't really had that extended run in the midfield as Terry alluded to. And I think maybe there's an opportunity there for us to give him that because you don't know, he might flourish in that position, especially with Lenny and Harves kind of, I guess, being able to work with him on a, on a daily basis at the footy club, which is exciting. His physicality is really, really good. I think Ross Lyon loves a physical team and a player that, I guess, flies the flag for his teammates as well. And there was, I think there's literally a video on YouTube of Liam Stocker basically just backing up his teammates anytime they get tackled or, you know, punched off the ball or anything bad happens towards his teammates. He's there, gets in the face of the opposition and flies the flag for his footy club. And I love that about a player. I personally don't think we have many of those in the lineup at the moment. So the fact that he's a childhood saint and he's now playing for the club that he grew up loving, being coached by a lot of the boys that he grew up watching, um, I think that he's going to have a lot of passion in him when he plays. And I think that's that's only going to be a benefit for the footy club. But what this does is just add more competition for spots, whether he plays a bit at Sandy. I, I feel like there'll be a bit of a mix there. But he's got the potential to break into the team and really um, stay in the team. You know, there's he's got, he's got a bit of talent, obviously, uh, being taken top 20 in the draft. I think Carlton had to trade picks to actually get him. That was the first ever live trade of draft picks. Um, and that's when they got him at pick 19. So to me, I thought we might go with Josh Eyre based on the reports that I've been reading. You know, apparently he's, he's been training really well. But obviously Liam Stock is more of that workman-like player. And I feel like we do need midfield reinforcements. And he's young. He's a midfielder. He can find the footy. He can use the footy. And there's still room for growth. You know, he's not 27. He's not 28 and done. He's he's a young kid still. Only played the 28 games. And there's a big opportunity for him to really lift his career. I think that Although he hasn't really hit the ground running at Carlton, you know, like I said, he hasn't had a game where he's had over 25 disposals. I don't necessarily think that's anything to worry about. I think that we can definitely turn him into a player that 
is hungry for the contest and um, is hungry to get the footy. And I love a player that can tackle and gets in the face of the opposition. And I think we need more of them at the football club. So Liam Stocker, congrats on the contract, mate. Uh, well done. You're now a St. Kilda player and, uh, and we all love you already. You know, he was the sort of player that I didn't really know too much about at Carlton, but I always knew that Carlton supporters kind of rated him. And when he didn't play, they were all like, Stocker should be playing. And hopefully at St. Kilda, obviously based on how he's trained, Ross Lyon and the coaches see something in him. And uh, hopefully he can be a, a pretty solid contributor to the lineup in 2023. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, Sainers. Obviously, that's the most important thing. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think signing up Liam Stocker is a good thing? Do you think he'll add value to the footy club? Um, if yes, let me know why. If not, also let me know why. Um, I'd love to, to get the conversation going in the comments. I think it's actually pretty decent. I think he'll support our midfield nicely. Um, and I just love that physicality about him from watching his highlights and chatting to other Carlton supporters. He hits players hard. He hits the contest hard. And that's a really good starting point for any player that wants to play under a coach like Ross Lyon. So I think that Ross is going to love him. Would not be surprised if he gets a game straight up, um, if he keeps training as well as he has been so far. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video. Comment your thoughts on Liam Stocker signing for the footy club. Let me know. Are you happy? Are you not? Um, and yeah, I'll be back for future videos next week. So until then, enjoy the rest of your week and then your weekend. And I'll see you next week for some more Saints TV content. Take care, Sainers, and go you mighty Sainers.